What's up, YouTube, Mopar, Militia? Hey, we're back with another video. So, we've been doing a lot lately. Um, you guys seen the last couple of videos, the brace install. So you guys how to swap out the Brembo brakes. So, we're starting to get into some mods here. So, today, we're going to install our OBD2, which is Onboard Diagnostics version 2. Allows you to plug into the car and scan. Um, they're disabled on the 2018s and 2019s, so you have to install a bypass. So I got the bypass plug. I'm going to show you guys how to install that now. So stay tuned. Here we go. <laughs> So here is my Z Automotive Taser. I mean, bypass. They make the taser. They make the burnout box. They make a couple cool things, but cool. Most importantly, they make the OBD2 bypass. So that's pretty cool. And you can go here, Z Automotive, to get it, and uh, it'll allow you to plug in. And it's nice to have an extra one in the back too, so you can plug something in back here and do your diagnostic. So let's go through the install real fast. Me, I have my iPad here in a little hardened case, so uh, I can bring it out in the garage or take it on a road with me or to the track or something. I don't have to worry about dropping it. It's got the suction cup mount, so you can mount it pretty much anywhere. Do what you need to do. So the instructions for this, they're on here, so um, that's where you find them. So it's Z Automotive slash instructions, like it says right there. Uh, I'll make sure I put that down in the link for you guys, and then we'll walk through. Um, so the fuse box here in the back. And you gotta tap into the harness here. So we'll go through that. We gotta take this out real fast to get to it. And then uh, I'll show you guys, here we go. After you remove the cover, what you wanna do is expose your harness here. And you see there is a box here. I'm gonna take your screwdriver and pry both of these tabs. And this should lift right up. I've already done that. So you guys don't have to worry about doing it. So pretty simple. So once you got that lifted up, you'll expose the wires on where you have to go. Pull the cover off, get all the wires exposed, and this is where you're gonna go to start uh, hooking up your um, hooking up your bypass. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, and it's easier to get to it at this stage of the game, because I'm pretty tall and I can barely reach it, you know, leaning over the car without like getting into the trunk. So. I'm not getting my big ass in the trunk, so I'm gonna go and get it from inside the car. All the Z automotive products, they are made super well. So only thing you have to do in here, and it's pretty simple, looking at the instructions, you plug the blue and white plug into the white star connector, and then you plug the other plug, the black plug, into the green connector. So it's pretty straightforward, um, not really hard to do. Refer back to your directions. As you can see, uh, this one goes into green and the blue and the white goes into the white. So, blue wire's here, the black plug goes here, and your harness, you can just feed that back to the trunk because it's gonna go there. You can uh, put your star box back on here once you uh, get these wires tucked nice and good. And just give them a little plug, a little tug, make sure they're in there secure. All right, cover's back on. All right, now, after you got all that hooked up, you're going to come down here and you're going to pop the fuse box. Fuse box cover. Look in here. You're going to find fuse number 37. You're going to pull fuse 37. Then you got your fuse puller right in there. Make sure you replace that. You might need that later, so. Number 37, if you go in the second row of regular fuses right here, 37 is this 20 amp fuse that's right next to the one on the end, so we're gonna pull this one. Jumper, locate, that came with the kit, look, you know, locate that, and then where you unplug the number 37 fuse, you're gonna plug this in, but before you do that, put that 20 amp fuse back into that empty slot. Plugged in, go ahead and plug it into that slot right there, 
I'm just gonna bend the wire away. It's already insulated, so if it shouldn't touch anything, cause any issue. But yeah, just plug that back in where the fuse went on the top. Boom, it's secure. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap my wires here because I want it to be nice and clean. So I want it to look really factory-ish. So we're gonna take care of that real quick, and then uh, I'll show you. What's one last thing connect one last connection to make one last connection to make we got to connect our ground wire So if you follow your ground strap off your battery to here, um, this is a 10 millimeter um, Nut how ironic the wrench is green to match the car so Go ahead and uh, loosen that up I'm gonna take it all the way off, just loosen it up enough to get the um the wire in there. Alright, so clean installation. We got everything plumbed up here, ran down, got it taped out of the way in case we ever have to pull the battery out. It'll clear the strap with no problem. I also came up through here with my bypass OBD2 2 port. So you know, easy to get to. It's cut through the strap, so tuck nicely right here. If you're not using it, no worries. Out of the way. You close the trunk, it won't be interfering with anything. And if you need to plug something to it, you can just plug in and run the wire out and through the uh, the cover. So, so far, so good, man. Easy. Um, without making a video, it would take you like 10, 15 minutes the most. But, you know, making a video and everything, it took me probably about a half hour. So, um yeah that's it so like i said make sure you tuck everything out of the way um don't want any wires hanging loose here um like i said if you ever take the battery out that way you're not um you're not uh like interfering or the wires in a way you pull one of the connectors off and have to solder it back on or crimp, crimp it back on so too easy and there's your bypass all right i got the truck thing back in the cover so like I said, everything fits down there nice over top of the cover with no issues. Um, so the question is, does it work? All right, so I got my Garmin VIRB. This is uh, basically, it captures all the performance data from the car and it sends it to the camera while you're recording. So that's how you see me making those uh, videos with those cool gauges, this module right here. So plug this in. As you can see, we got power, it's working. Um, so it's that simple guys. I mean, you don't got to splice into your wire to do anything. Everything comes plug and play. Another great product from Z Automotive. So I, I highly recommend it. All right, Mopar Militia, that's it. The install in a nutshell. Um, yeah, like I said, it would take you about 10, 15 minutes. If you knew how to do everything, you know where everything is, you got the right tools. Um, only thing you really need is a 10 millimeter wrench, some electric tape, and uh, a screwdriver to pry the boxes off, the uh, fuse boxes and the star cluster box. Um, other than that, straightforward. So you guys see it works. Um, so now what does that get you? That gives you the ability to be able to get to the PCM, uh, capture any performance data, read any metrics from the car, any diagnostics, all that kind of stuff, tune the car. Yes, it's coming. So stay tuned. We're about to go fast, fast around here with this car. So we're not going to go crazy, guys, but I do have something in the works. So stay tuned. We're going to run mid nines, maybe low nines. Uh, we'll see. All right. Stay tuned. Like I said, we're not going to go crazy, though. Hit the like button. If you like the video, hit the don't like button. If you don't like the video, leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday, and peace.